My name is Christian Eder. I'm the director for marketing at Congatech. Today I'd like to talk about our implementation of Freescale processes on our computer modules. This little video will start with a short introduction about the company. Then I will introduce the computer module concepts and the advantages. Finally, we will switch to the Freescale implementation on Q7 and we will end up with an application example. Some details about Congatech. Congatech was founded back in 2004 and has more than 140 employees right now. The revenue reached more, more than 61 million euros in 2012. Congatech is international, which means we have own subsidiaries in Taipei, in San Diego, and last year we also founded some new subsidiaries in Australia and in Japan. Congatech is the only company which is purely focused on to compute on modules. This clear focus brought us to the luxury, luxury position to be number two in the worldwide market of computer modules. What's the idea behind the computer on modules? It's quite simple. Computer on module is an integratable, complete computer. That means this module contains everything, let's say, a computing platform requires, which is, of course, the CPU, which is memory, which is also flash memory, so a complete thing. This cannot be operated standalone. This needs to be integrated into a second board, which might be a, a customized, developed carrier board. Then the module is integrated to the carrier board just like a component being plugged in. What's the, what's the idea behind? This is a standard product, which is produced, developed, and sold to many, many different applications. This is fully customized, as you see. So this is an example from a customer. Uh, this standardized interface allows to uh, scale up and scale down with different CPUs. You can even change between different architectures. Typically, we have here uh, the Freescale Idodamic 6 based platform, but also x86 based modules might plug in. This allows for a lot of freedom here for the customer to choose. And the freedom, of course, main freedom is to bring all customized functionalities to a comparably simple design, while the customer is not to, to take care about the high speed buses for the DDR3 memory, for example, which is highly complicated. Of course, this brings down development costs in comparison to full custom design, development uh, cost, and also development time is much lower because it's less complexity. The customer has to take care about less uh, component changes which might happen over time. Can, the customer can react much faster to market trends if other CPUs are required, can be installed quite easily. It can be scaled. One solution, one time the carrier board can be equipped with different CPUs, maybe different housings, and complete product families can be generated. The investment for the carrier board can be reused over multiple generations of CPUs, which is a big, big advantage when it comes to cost again. And the customer can focus on to its own resources. So the computing technology, which becomes more and more complicated, um, he can really buy and he can keep the resources, focus the resources onto the special IOs, onto the special software, whatever is required for that application. And last but not least, second source is always an important thing. If Conga Tech does not have the right choice, the Q7 standard, which defines the pinout, uh, the size and all of this is available for multiple different vendors. I just mentioned cooling, also cooling is part of the concept. Uh, it's possible for all of the modules to have a kind of cooling solution like that one. In this case for the IDOTMX6 processor typically it's not required, but for extended temp operations at least it, uh, it's a good help. That's a type of cooling solution which can be installed just on top. This is the already with heat fins, so that's a complete that's a complete cooling solution. 
The other typical approach is using a heat spreader, which is just a flat surface, installs exactly the same. And this surface typically is conducted to the housing to generate fanless solutions. So all in all, the computer module concept is highly flexible when it comes to customized applications. Q7 is not the only form factor which is in this arena. There are more computer modules. Uh, the most important ones are Q7. This is focusing on towards the lowest power applications. So the definition itself limits Q7 to a maximum power consumption of 12 watts. So that's clear that this is more for the mobile low power or ultra low power applications such as Freescale Hydrodynamic 6. On the other hand, the second and most important standard is ComExpress. This is a ComExpress Compact, which is just 95 by 95 millimeters. In comparison, Q7 is 70 by 70. It's much smaller. ComExpress has more scalability to the top. So with ComExpress, you can start with low power platforms and you can scale up to the latest high-end Intel Core architectures, for example. Got a different connector layout here, got two connectors with 440 pins, and it's targeting towards higher computation needs, higher performance levels, and those are the two most important standards for computer modules. Hello, my name is Daniel Stadler. I'm hardware engineer in the Technical Solution Center at Congotech. This little card is a computer which integrates all the common standard PC interfaces. This standard for computer on modules is called Q7. Q7 modules has a size of 70 times 70 millimeters. The pinout of these modules with its 230 pins is based on the MXM connector standard. MXM is a well-known connector standard for high-speed devices like PCI Express graphic cards. A matter of this, Q7 offers the newest and fastest interfaces. And these are up to four PCI Express by one lanes, two USB 3.0 ports, two serial ATA 3G ports, a gigabit Ethernet interface, a digital display interface. This can be used for the high-speed graphic interfaces, HDMI or DisplayPort, an LVDS channel, and several more like USB 2.0, SDIO, HDA, UART, and so on. Congotech offers for its Q7 modules two variants of coolings. The first variant is the Congotech heat spreader. A heat spreader conducts the heat of the CPU module to a chassis, housing, or to a heatsink. The second variant is the Kongotech cooling solution. The cooling solution is the same concept as a heat spreader, but with integrated heatsink on it. My name is Jack Lonkaric, and I'm a marketing engineer for computer models. Kongotech is one of the driving leaders for computer model standards like ComExpress and also like for Q7. Today I would like to introduce to you our new Q7 module based on iDOT MXX processor from Freescale. Our Conga QMX6 is a multimedia performance module with extreme low power and an extended longevity of minimum 10 years. This model is based on one up to four ARM CPU cores available in an iDOT MX6 solo, dual or quad version. Up to 2 GB DDR3 memory, 8 GB onboard flash or an onboard micro SD slot for mass storage. PCI Express by one lane and a rich interface set like serial ATA, 5 USB ports and gigabit Ethernet. The integrated graphic is equipped with video VPU for encode and decode. GPUs for 2D and 3D graphics, as well it has OpenGL, OpenCL and OpenVG support. Hello, I'm Michael Schanz and at Congatech I'm working in the Conga QMX6 software development. 
So the QMX6 is our first uh, CPU module that is based on ARM technology. And this was a huge challenge for the development team because beside uh, the product uh, development, also the necessary infrastructure to manufacture and to test an ARM-based part has to be established. So our software support already starts on bootloader level. We took the original Freescale bootloader and adopted it to QMX6. Uh, furthermore, we added functionality for manufacturing traceability. For instance, we included a certain area in the flash that is reserved for manufacturing purposes. This area contains uh, manufacturing data such as product ID, serial number and board revision. And we also introduced a new command on the bootloader level, the MFG dump command uh, that enables the customers to access those manufacturing uh, da data directly. Furthermore, the data is passed to the kernel, so the kernel has the capabilities to determine um, the underlying hardware and therefore to enable certain functionality or not. On uh, operating system level, we work together with partners and one of those is Adeneo Embedded, which supports us in setting up bot support packages and is also able to provide customized solutions. Together with them, we perform some activities, for instance, uh, contributing in the Yocto project. And we are also going to mainline our kernel patches with them. So on the operating system side, we are going to support Linux, which is a major operating system. And currently, we have set up a BSP for Linux version 335, which is based on the Freescale BSP. So we provide kernel patches as well as packets that the customers can um, integrate our uh, development directly into the LCHIP environment. As mentioned, we contribute uh, in the Yocto project and our patches are already accepted. For the future, it's planned to set up a JIT server with public access and this enables our customers to have direct access to our uh, kernel and bootloader development just in time. Also, Android is a very um, important operating system and currently we provide a bot support package for ice cream sandwich. The new version Charla Bean is currently under development. For Windows CE, we work together uh, with Adeneo Embedded and currently there is a bot support package in approval. For, there will be two different versions of the BSP, one free binary version and one commercial version that includes source code of all the drivers. As you can see, Conga Tech established a lot of activities to provide a full feature to software support for QMIX 6. And I'm convinced that together with Freescale, we make the Conga QMIX 6 becoming a very successful product. Hello, my name is Alexander Nagel and I'm working in the marketing department at Conga Tech AG in Deggenburg. I'd like to show you how easy it is to set up your own application, like this tablet PC, using only Conga Tech standard products. Here, we have the Conga QMCB Mini Carrier Board, which supports Mini PCI Express, Mini SATA, HDMI, or SD cards, and many other different interfaces. Here, we have the SBM3 Smart Battery Management System, which controls the power between the battery and the external power supply. You can optionally equip a second battery here. The heart of this whole application is our Conga QMX6 module. It's a Q7 module based on Freescale's latest i.mx6 processor series with 1GHz single-core, dual-core or quad-core variants. 
This tablet was a nice project of one of our students to demonstrate how easy it is to set up your own application. As a summary, uh, we can say there are lots of advantages in using Q7 modules with Freescale processors. So it's always the latest technology which is available. Customers can easily switch to, to always the latest generations. It's a faster development for the customer, faster time to market. It's less risk to bring it alive, the, the solution, and it can free up lots of engineering resources. So at the end, a lot of competitive advantages for the customers using this type of applications. Thank you for your attention. If you'd like to see more, find details online at congatech.com. Thank you.